Hey everyone, Josh Galvin with Tizish.com. On this video, I want to show you some free SEO tool, some free SEO tools that you should for sure be using when trying to analyze and figure out the SEO uh, for your website. When you're pretty much looking at your site or competitors' sites, so there's several of them. Uh, here, the, here they are, real quick. Uh, the first one I have, by the way, I'll have the links to all these same pages on, with the description of this video and blog posting. But here's the first one. It's called um, SEO for Firefox. Oh, and by the way, all these tools are for with the Firefox browser. So go to Firefox.com and download the browser because these all require that browser to use them. So anyhow, the first one is SEO for Firefox, and the second one is Rank Checker. And here's what they pretty much do. Rank Checker is a tool like this. It's a tool here that lets you type in a domain name, type in a keyword, and it'll tell you where is it ranked in Google, Yahoo, and Bing easily. It'll tell you exactly what spot. This is good for monitoring competitors that are moving up the rankings as well as keeping track of yours, of course. So that's the first one, and I'll show you live demos right at the end. But this is my first and my favorite one. The next one is called SEO for Firefox that I just mentioned. And th what this tool is, it's the following. Um, in a, Let's just say you type in any search in Google, right? So I'll type in uh, the tools right here, by the way. See right here where it says SEO? Let's turn it on. So now that it's colorful, that means that it's on. So when you search Google, here's what happens. This tool adds all these sections here that you can get data on about a, spe a specific website. So let's say I want to see how many links does this website have. When I click on that question mark, hopefully it goes any second. Basically, when you click on the question mark, it's going to fetch the data for you. All right? So like, let's just try a different one real quick. So for example, I click right here on Trulia. It says it has a page rank of three. Let's see how many links it have. I click on the links. It could take a little while. It could take a little while to go. So anyways, the whole point is this tool, SEO for Firefox, is a great tool. The main thing that I like with this tool is right here under Why Links. This is basically going to pull up all the links that Yahoo is noticing. And it's really good for you to go into to try to just find. Let's do an example. So I click on this. And what's going to happen, it's going to show me all these links for this person's site. What I would do is try to see if there's any sites that are worthwhile for you to go into and see if you can get links from them as well. That's the whole purpose behind these tools. All right, so that was SEO for Firefox. And it shows up in your browser as a little tool down here in the bottom. So uh, let's move on to the next one. The next one is called Link Diagnosis. Again, it's a Firefox tool. And here's how this one works. Let's say you go to a website, right? You go to, let's say, tizish.com, and then you right click. You have this new feature on your browser after you install the tool called Link Diagnosis that when you click on it, what's going to happen is this tool is going to pull an, an entire link report on, my, on your URL, whatever URL you're trying to do. And what it shows you is loads of things like uh, how many links, how many of them are no follow, how many of them are good links, what's the text used on each of the links how many links are broken a lot of good data the whole point is what you could get from them is you can learn uh, you can learn what links do your competitors have what links do you have but more importantly what links do your competitors have and try to see if you can get some of the same ones or try to find some of the do follow sites that they're getting links from and try to get on those as well so this is I'm not gonna wait for this whole report it'll take a good while but that's the whole idea if you want a better idea about this whole report or about this tool then you can just watch the video. They have a video on here somewhere. Yeah, right here on linkdiagnosis.com, how it works. There's a video to show you. All right. And then the last one is a URL called opensiteexplorer.com. And here's how it works. Basically, you just type in a URL. So let's just take one of these same URLs. I'll just use this one since I clicked on it as an example a little second ago. I type a URL. And then when you click on get link data, what it's going to do is exactly what it says. It's going to get the link data. And what that means is once it's done loading, what that means, it's going to basically, it's very similar to the link diagnosis tool here. But it's just, the whole point is it's going to get all the links pointing to this site and it's going to show you them. It's going to show you this site has X number of links and this site has. Uh, here's the links. It'll tell you if it's no follow and so forth. So let's try again. Something's happening. Okay, so here's the app. It just now did the link data for Open Site Explorer, and uh, here's how. Here's what it pretty much does. Just like the link diagnosis tool will do, 
this just shows you the links to this website and here's what you want to do when you're doing this you want to pretty much look at the links that are from sites that you might be able to get a link from as well so just go through these sites and then just try to see if there's any links that you can get as well that's the whole point it's still loading but the whole point is it just shows them all and then you have a a, a page it lets you scroll between page two and page three and so forth um, I'm not going to explain all of this because this is a lot more technical to understand than, a, so, than I could explain in a quick video. But the whole idea here is you get to see a site's links and so forth and the total number and everything. Alright, so just to recap. here Oh, there's actually one more tool. This one called Search Status. It's another Firefox tool. And remember what this tool is. This is the tool that lets you that puts a, a little thing on your browser that basically tells you the page rank of a site the Alexa ranking of a site and then it lets you highlight no follow links it does loads of other things but my favorite thing is how it highlights no follow links so that way when you're doing when you're backlinking on blogs or when you're blogging blog commenting for backlinks you could check if they're do follow or no follow and you can make your time efficient so just to recap now all the tools actually you know what before we recap let's show you one more tool in action the rank checker alright so here's the final tool it's or the first one I mentioned but here it is in actual practice it's called rank checker this is the tool that you can easily check your ranking in Google for all the for whatever website keywords and so forth so I'm gonna use joshgalvin.com as the example you put your domain URL up here and in the keyword you just enter the keyword you're trying to see that you're trying to rank, trying to be gain ranking for. You click on add, and when you click on start, it's going to tell you the exact position in Google, Yahoo, and Bing that your website is in. So see, I'm number three on Google, number one in Yahoo, number four in Bing. Now let's actually go. Here's a quick point, you guys. Um, the numbers here are pulling from like different data centers, so it it might say three when in reality it might be number one, or for different people it might hover between two or three spaces in two or three spaces so if you see a three for any of these numbers always give it a plus two or minus two type of count to get a good accurate estimation alright so that's the whole idea with this tool and uh, let me just recap I'll have links to all of these tools with this video in the description but basically to recap the first tool was SEO for Firefox which is the button that shows up here it's a button that shows up right here on your browser that lets you do the following it shows you it gives you these this data in Google search results when you turn it on alright and now the other tool was the search status tool that I showed you here that I showed you pretty much here that lets you see the page rank and so forth here and now the final tools were the rank checker of course which I showed you here just now and then after the rank checker was the link diagnosis tool that lets you right click on a site and then go to link diagnosis and it'll fun it'll run a full report and then after that my favorite one actually and the last one was the open site explorer tool I like this one because it's simplicity so this was the final one I would definitely use so that's everything on these SEO tools the whole idea is the following alright when you look at these tools when you're looking at any link data you know, for example, here when you're looking at the link data from Yahoo, the whole goal is to try to see what links do your competitors have, and look at the URLs, and pretty much try to get the same links, or try to just build links from their link profiles. Do the same. Do this for the top 10 uh, URLs, top 10, top 20. And another quick tip: Let's say you see a website moving high in the rankings, and it keeps moving up. Well, then see what links they're getting. That's gonna that's helping them move up so fast, and try to get those as well use these tools to help you do that alright so that's everything if you have any questions go to facebook.com forward slash tizish tizish is spelled as you see here I'm Josh Galvin once again now go to facebook.com forward slash tizish and let me know if you have any questions like this video if you took any value from it comment on it and share it with as many people as you can the more always the better so well that's everything good luck and have fun using these tools take care